You know, 90% of crappy fishermen as a whole make this one key mistake. They're trying too hard to catch a fish that doesn't take a lot of effort if you do it right. So on today's video, that's what we're gonna go over. Let's make crappy fishing easy. Make sure you smash that thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and let me teach you how to smash an easy button. What's going on? Steven Turner here with Turner Fishing. So, honestly, I have, over the course of three to four years I've been doing YouTube, I fish with a lot of you guys at home. You guys watching, don't take no offense what I'm about to say, but when I get out on the water, a lot of them do the same things. They're doing too much. And at the same time, they're like, Steven, you've got a lot of patience or something like that either comes off. And I'm like, no, I'm letting my bait do the work. And that's kind of what we're going to go over on today's video. Um, crappy don't take a lot to catch let's be honest guys i mean yeah it's a lot of work to go out there and catch bigger fish but if you're like most weekend anglers they're just going out there to get enough to eat and on today's video i'm going to show you the most simplest way to do just that go out there and get enough to eat because if you keep it really simple you're going to catch a lot more limits and that's the most fun thing you can do about what we're about to learn is it applies to every scenario while you're crappy fishing if you're fishing an open water brush pile a bridge a dock or you're just out throwing at the bank this can still apply now normally you know like i said i fish with a lot of people over the three four years and even i mean longer than that i've been fishing with people my whole life they'll take their little jig and it'll be like a, a six, a one sixteenth, a, a one eighth, a three thirty seconds, and they're gonna take it and they're gonna pitch it out there. And as soon as their jig hits the water, whether it be on a dock or a bridge pylon or you know whatever, they're just gonna whine, just like this. Well, I didn't get a bite, so I'm gonna do it again. As soon as it hits the water, I'm going to wind and we're going to get hung in the shop. Hang on. They're going to do it again and they're going to wind. Well, I didn't get a bite. Then they're going to do it again. Now, now what, what is this doing? And honestly, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over without success is what separates a lot of people from being successful on the water. If you go dock to dock throwing, and as soon as it hits the water, you're automatically just winding. You're, you're either, A, you're using too much weight and don't understand how crappy suspend, which we're gonna explain here in a minute, or B, you're winding so fast you're going way over the top of them depending on what time of year it is. And what normally happens is I call this the springtime fever. And what I basically mean by that is during the spawn or pre-spawn, you can get in the backs of these creeks and throw a 1 16th or 1 8th at the bank and wind really fast back to the boat and catch them. And a lot of people grew up, the only time they fished for crappy was in the spring. And now that they want to fish for crappy all year long, it's accustomed to them to throw bigger weights. And I'm not calling anybody out. Let's just say that, you know, I want to teach you how to catch more fish. So stop throwing the bigger weights and listen to me. When you're fishing a dock, a bridge, a brush pile, Crappy are normally suspended. Now, whether you have electronics or not, doesn't really matter if you find an area with fish, but first you gotta catch the fish, and if you're throwing too heavy of weight, you're not gonna be able to do the technique that I'm about to show you. 
So what we have here, this is a 132 ounce hand tie. Uh, you know, normally we, we, we sell a lot of jigs. They're really small. They work, but I don't feel like retying this. So this was on there right now. So say you have a group of fish. They're stacked on this dock right here. They're suspended at six feet to eight feet. If you're throwing a 1 16th ounce jig head, it's gonna have a fall rate of about, you know, half a foot to a foot a second, give or take. If you, if you start winding as soon as it hits the water, or even if you let it pendulum back to the boat, depending on how far you cast it, it's either going to A, go way too far above them, B, you're going to pendulum right below them because you cast it too far and you don't know where they're at, or C, if you cast really short, you're going to go by the fish really fast and not give them an ample amount of time to bite before you bring it back to the boat. So that brings us to today's technique. And we're about to hit the easy button. You're gonna take your 132 or your 164 ounce jig head. Now what these jig heads allow you to do is I made a video on the strike zone. This, this is a 132 on the rod right here that I randomly picked up in the shop. This is gonna get you about a quarter of a foot a second. A 132, a 164 is gonna be even uh, slower. Now, that may be daunting to a lot of people that have no patience. And I understand that. But if you want more bites, you've got to commit to a slower approach. When you toss your jig out, you know, Say you know there's fish at six to eight feet. I'm gonna to toss my jig out about, I don't know, maybe seven feet. And that's it. That's all you got to do is toss your jig out at whatever depth you think the fish is at. Toss it past them. And you just sit there and hold your line. Take your finger and put it on the line right here. And that's all you got to do. That smaller jig head is going to slowly pendulum back to you. It's going to go slowly through that school of crappy. It's going to give you the most time in that crappy strike zone that you're ever going to get from winding, from bigger jig heads, from popping it. Because every time you pop it, you're sending it back through the water column towards the boat. So, I'm telling you, next time you're out on the water, just toss it out, close your bell, and hold your line, and just wait. You know, every 20 seconds, just give it a little nudge, because a bigger fish will pick up your lure, and you won't feel it. Just a little nudge. And when it gets right to the boat, Give it about 30 seconds before you wind in, or even longer if you've got the patience. Just hold it right up under the boat, and every now and then, maybe pick it up and let it fall. And I'm telling you guys, you will get so many more bites, so many more limits in your boat. Because when you find the fish, you find them. And the best way to catch a crappie is to let that bait go right above him slowly and that crappie's gonna come up he's gonna follow your bait or he's gonna eat it as soon as he gets up there so i hope you guys can get out there and and hit the easy button this is all you do this is what i do 365 days a year when i'm not out there live scoping you know before electronics i mean i've did this technique for over 20 years and if I sold my live scope today, tomorrow, I would be out there on a dock, a brush pile, a bridge pylon, 
and I'm just going to flick it out there and let it come back. And about this technique is, you know, once you get a bite, you've got to remember how far you toss it out there. Because from then for like the next 30 minutes to an hour, you can probably repeat that cast, you know, fan cast it around. Say, a little pitch this way, a little pitch this way, a little pitch this way. And you just sit there and let the jig do its work with that smaller jig head. The smaller jig head is what's going to get you the bites. Now, we do sell little baits that go on these smaller jig heads. And Crappy Man Green and Monkey Milk is probably the only colors you'll ever need in your entire life. But we're going to save that for the next video that's about to come out here in the next week or two. But... Hope you guys enjoyed. Get out there and just have some patience. Take little cast. Give the bait time to catch the fish. Don't let the fish catch you.